on the 6th of February in the U for the unveiling of the iconic Che Guevara painting by Jim Fitzpatrick. The artwork was donated on a long-term loan by a DCU alumnus. A discussion was held in the Hive for students to interact with the famous Irish artist. Uh, I used to live down the road here, so uh, these were green fields when I was a kid. I used to play football there. And now we have this extraordinary institution and uh, full of young people who I hope that image provokes, shall we say, and that uh, maybe it will radicalise one or two people. The loan has been criticised by some in DCU. Guevara has a controversial history with human rights, an issue brought up during the discussion. Vice President of DCU, Dara Keogh, endorses the addition of more art to the university. The university is not in a position to acquire art, so we're very fortunate that people have loaned us art. So we have some beautiful pieces from the state, the Arts Council, and other Irish banks too have loaned us a wonderful collection that's currently housed in Albert College. President of the DCU Students' Union, Vito Maloney Burke, hopes it will encourage student activism. There has been an edge back towards kind of political engagement and political activism amongst our student body in recent years um, and that's a really heartening thing to see. Um, I think the unveiling of this iconic portrait today, Che Guevara, uh, really embodies that and hopefully will further spur on our students to get engaged with the crisis of today, which there are many. I work in different mediums, I do Celtic mythology. There's no point in getting an argument over Celtic mythology, you know, because people are not, they're passionate about it like I am. But it's not earthshaking. If you want to move mountains, you need more radical arts, you need activism. Orla Dwyer, DCU TV News.